Hi, Jen Tin Lim here from stampwithjen.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little Easter card. So what you'll need is this stamp set, Every Bunny. This stamp set created elements and something for a greeting. I'm using Teeny Tiny Wishes. I've also got the Lace Border Punch, Lace Border Ribbon Punch, Word Window Punch. I've got these dies from the Big Shot. This is the Labels Framelits Collection. For ink, I've got Basic Black and Wisteria Wonder. I've also got markers. Sahara Sand, Pink Pirouette, Wisteria Wonder, and Pretty in Pink. I've got some In Color Brads, Paper Piercer and Matte. Bone folder, dimensionals, it's about 20 inches of uh, pretty in pink satin ribbon, uh, paper snips, and for paper sizes. So I've got a piece of Wisteria Wonder cardstock. This is 11 by 4 and a quarter, just a piece of 8.5 by 11 cut in half. Um, I've got a piece of pretty in pink, it's a 4 by 4 square. I've got a, a white square, this is 3 by 3. I've got another piece of white, this is 5 by 2 inches, a scrap of white. And then this is some designer paper, this is what it looks like from the uh, flirtatious uh, designer specialty paper. And this is one inch by four and a quarter inches. You also need this simply scored scoring tool from Stampin' Up. Okay, so from the labels collection, I'm gonna take the second and third smallest die. And the way it goes is you've got your multi-purpose platform closed, cutting plate, your paper, your die, and another cutting plate on top. And through the machine it goes. So I've cut out the pink one and the white one as well from the, with the Big Shot. Next thing I'm going to do is stamp, and that's because I'm using black and I want it to give it a second to dry while I work on the rest of the card. So I'm going to stamp the cute little bunny image in the middle of the white. And also on my scrap of white, I'm going to stamp a saying in black. And I'm going to put both of those aside to dry for a minute. I'm going to take my lace border punch in the long strip of white. First thing you need to do is unlock your punch. And I'm going to pop it in here. I like to start it. There's a line on here. And I like to start it just over the, just sorry, just under the line. And punch down. You use, you use both hands to get to fully engaged. And the reason I start it back a little bit is so that I've got, I've got it started and there's no um, pieces that aren't finished. So what you want to do is you want to line the paper up right. There's a design on the punch. Line it right up on the design. and then punch again. Okay, so I've made this piece a little bit longer than we need, so I'm not gonna finish that off. What I'm gonna do is take my paper snip scissors and cut right down the middle of this piece, giving myself two halves, um, so you could use this on another card. So I take my Simply Scored scoring tool, I'm going to take my little marker and mark one and a half, that's where I want to score. And here's a little tip for you, take wax paper and rub it on your card so it makes a big difference in how well this scores. I'm going to put it in here, take the smaller end and mark at one and a half. See how nicely that glides? Okay, so now where I've scored it, I'm just going to fold that up and you can take a bone folder to give it a nice crease. I'm going to take the end of the card and just tuck it in here and use my bone folder again. So right away this is a more interesting shape of a card than, than the regular kind of sizes that I use. And then I'm going to take the Wisteria Wonder Pad and this large stamp. Now because it's a bit larger I like to ink them up this way so I can make sure it's well inked. I'm just going to give it a little rub and a little tap and open the card back up and I'm going to stamp this really pretty design all over the front. And with the clear stamps, what's nice is that you can see right in where you need to add more stamps. Just add one more little piece here. And maybe just a little bit right here. Okay, so that's the front of that decorated. I'm also going to take my bunny stamp and I'm going to stamp on this scrap piece of designer paper that I had because I'm going to cut that out. So I just took my paper snips and I cut out the little design so now I'm going to have the shell to go on my design and that's this is called the technique called paper piecing. Alright so now I'm going to take my bunny and I'm going to start coloring. So I've got the wisteria and I'm going to use that for the inside of the shell just because our paper piecing piece, it's hard to say, 
will only cover that part. Then I'm going to take the lighter pink with the brush tip end and color the inside of the ear just so it's lighter. And pretty in pink with the brush tip end and color the scarf. And then again with the brush tip end, and just so you, you can always tell the brush tip because there's a picture or there's a wide stripe, so you know it's the flatter end. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the entire image. This is the Sahara sand, and I'm going to just trace around the outside of the image. And this is just going to make this whole image pop. Also, I'm going to get the very bottom where there's a little shadow. So I'm just going to turn off the camera while I finish that. So you can see that with that Sahara outline around there, it really makes that whole thing pop. So I'm now going to add some tape and mat it onto the larger pink. Love this shape. And I'm going to take my paper piercer and word window punch. And I'm going to center this off a bit to the right. Add it to the front. A little tape. It actually fits perfectly right in this little area right there. I'm going to poke a hole and add one of my Wisteria Wonder in color brads. Now let's work on the front piece. Okay, so um, rather than try and put tape on this lace piece, which is hard to do, I'm going to add tape to the front of this piece instead. And then I'm going to add my lace down. I'm going to line up the top part that's already cut nicely and just line it up against the edge of this. And then I can take my paper snip scissors and just cut off that extra piece. And then I'm going to take the designer paper and add that. So this is the same paper as a paper piercing piece. Oops, which I forgot to add. We'll add that in and just lay that on there. So that just makes a really nice edge. I'm just going to finish that off by adding the shell. Okay, so to add the ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the ribbon up here. So just line it up so the two edges are even and that it's centered on your card. Okay, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of tape here on the ribbon. Fold it over, so it's just going to hold that in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Just a little bit of tape on the ribbon. Not too far because you don't want it to overhang on this side. Be sticky on that side, that would not do for tying. Just enough to hold it down a little bit and then this piece is actually going to help hold the ribbon down too. Um, so I'm going to put lots of tape on here. And make sure this piece is closed when you add this so you can center it. And I'm going to center on the points of this shape. On the ribbon, in the middle of the ribbon. Like that, and then the final step is going to be to tie a pretty little bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. Actually, I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm going to tie a knot. It's much easier. And I'm going to give that a trim. How cute is that for Easter? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this uh, Easter card. Check back to stampwithjen.com often for other tips and techniques.